So I wanted to jump right in and I want to go over the most important exercise that we go over with our pups, which is an exercise called relax on a mat. And in a nutshell, it'll basically give Ruthie emotional intelligence um, so she understands that she has the capacity to calm herself down. And um, you can use this for all sorts of different things. I got folks that use it for plane rides for their dogs, for um, dog-friendly hotels. Ruthie. And, um, you know, getting your, your dog calm around other dogs. Um, if they start hitting that puppy witching hour good, good, of, you know, seven or eight in the evening, this will uh, give Ruthie the capacity to calm herself down. So anyway, walking through the nuts and bolts of this, what we're looking for is good girl. Initially for her to come over to the mat and understand that the mat is where the good stuff happens. And then what we're looking for is for her to sniff over at the mat. Here you go, sweetie. Sniff over towards the mat. So every time she engages with the mat, then we can give her a treat for that. After that, then we're going to be looking for her to offer up an SIT. And then at that point, she'll start sniffing down towards the mat again. We'll give her treats. And then we'll wait for her to give us a DOWN. And then she gets treats. Uh, same thing, we'll wait for her to sniff down towards the mat. She gets treats when she's doing this. And then lastly, her head will be resting down um, completely. So that's what it looks like uh, in its totality. But right now, even this week, if she just understands, good job, sweetie that if when I go over to the mat, I get treats, I understand the mat is a good place to be, then that's fine. Um, you just be patient with your pup and allow her to continue to work this through on her own. So that's one other thing in this exercise. Good job, sweetie. Is It is a 100% command-free exercise, which will give her the capacity to um, realize that she can control um, this situation and control her. <laughs> good job, sweetie. Ruthie, her emotions and doesn't need coaching or coaxing from anyone else. This is perfect. Good job, sweetie. So that's the reasoning behind uh, me spelling everything out like S-I-T-D-O-W-N is that I'm gonna stay silent for little Ruthie and let her work through this on her own. Good job, cutie. Um, so you'll notice she's staring at my hand here, but I just like to shove my hand into my lap and just let her know that that's not the way that she's gonna get her treats. Good job. So sniffing down at the mat, we'll give her a treat for that. And so obviously the one thing that you can say is, I, I do say the dog's name. So you could say Ruthie and get her to come on back on over to the mat, that's fine and dandy. But other than that, we'll stay quiet. Then also there's two calming signals that you can give for Ruthie. So the first of which is just a big inhale and exhale, and the second is a yawn. Um, both of these are gonna let Ruthie know that everything's A-OK, -okay, that she can relax. Good girl. Good job, Ruthie. So of everything we go over, this is, uh, you know, not super sexy, but it is super, super beneficial for um, basically Ruthie's confidence and comfortability throughout life, knowing that she can, good girl, calm herself down and relax herself. Um, basically like our, our doggy yoga or meditation. Someone has, has called this like doggy zen, I think is what someone has called this. So we'll let her do this for a little bit more time on, uh, on camera and then we'll keep working with her and see exactly what she'll offer up. So she's, another thing is uh, I do like it that this helps to cultivate um, confidence in that she has to 
work through this on her own and figure it out. Nothing's going to be handed to her. So she starts to realize that if she's confident and tries different stuff, that that's how she's able to get rewarded. So we'll shut her down for now, but that is a very good job, my sweet little Ruthie.